Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and I'm here today to talk about the decks in my collection that really stood out in the year 2022. Um, this is a VR to Julie at Peekaboo Rose who just like two days ago as I'm filming this released a video um, called hashtag standout decks 2022 and I thought this was fun and I wanted to come on and quickly film this for you so we're going to just jump right in because I do not have a ton of time today so I'm going to start with these two that go together and these are in literally no particular order these are my Illustrated Herbiary and Bestiary by Maya Toll, or yeah, Maya, I assume. <laughs> um, I've had these decks for a while, and they've always been a bit of a standout to me because of their, oh dear, let me just try and get this better lined up there we go they've always been standouts to me because of their stunning aesthetic and the absolutely stunning guidebooks that come with them like they're they're like a work of art i do have i got both of these in the deluxe box set i don't have the illustrated crystallary yet which i am going to be getting hopefully extremely soon uh, the Illustrated Crystallary. Um, the problem is I got both of these in the deluxe box set and then the Illustrated Crystallary, they, the publisher decided not to do the delu deluxe box set because all three of them came out in Oracle. So now in order to get the big book and decent cards, I have to buy the book and then the Oracle deck. And I haven't done that yet. So that's... A thing I plan to do hopefully extremely soon. But the thing is, I realized this year, it kind of clicked how much I'm drawn to earthy aesthetics. Um, and I think you'll really um, be able to see that with a couple of videos I've got coming out soon. Like, I, I plan to do a video about... Um, an, an overarching spread tarot, uh, like a big multi-part tarot work I do for myself. Um, I'm thinking that'll be in January uh, because I'm like one of the things I do for it, I'm not doing again until January. So I think I'll film it and release it in January. Um, but turns out I really like Earthy decks and these ones I use in that way. And these but these ones, what makes them stand out is probably the guidebook and the artwork. And how they they're always like spot on. And the guidebook has like ideas you can do of like ritual. It has good journaling questions. This is just a really good deck. The, both of these are just really classic, fabulous decks for, for really like, for nurturing, for taking care of ourselves, taking care of ourselves and our body, just kind of being that beautiful, earthy, like these decks I use and they help me be my own beautiful, earthy, supportive mom that I want. Um, they, I'm, and I'm so thrilled because up until very recently, I wasn't using them. And then I got the idea to use them and now I'm, I'm, I pull one each week. And I've done this consistently for several weeks and I'm not sick of it. And the cool thing about me and tarot is that when I find something I like to do in tarot, um, I... I kind of always do it like when I find a way I like to work with a deck it just I just work with it that way and it doesn't bother me if I don't work with it any other time because I know when I'm gonna 
Um, so these are a decks decks that I reliably am working with now every week. I'm curious just because of the way I visually set them up, how it's going to work once I get my third one, which I'm hoping to get uh, this holiday season. I'm going to uh, nudge my wife into it because I just really, really, really want to complete this set. And I really, there's, there's, there's some things I've wanted to do for a while and, and obtain for a while deck collection wise that I keep putting off because I keep finding new decks, but I've reached the point where like, I'm not really as like urgent for new decks, so I'm good. Um, but so that's the illustrated bestiary and the illustrated herbiary. The next one is the Power of Surrender Oracle Cards uh, by Judith Orloff. I heard about these from Lisa, and I got them because my word of this year is surrender, as you might know if you've been around here before. Um, these are fabulous. Um, the images, honestly, like I don't really notice the images a lot, but each one, this one, I've pulled this one several times, surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. <clears throat> Amazingly, I haven't pulled that one. Um, like, they're not bad images. They're, they're just a nice, relatively popular style of art images in the center. But it's the messages. I do like this picture, though. It's the messages for me. I, this is on point and I've been using it all year long. I've been using this all year long. Currently I'm using it every week. I've used it in several different ways. There was a while where I was pulling a card. I think I might've pulled a card every day. Um, then there was a time where I would pull a card, I would write it down on my, in my journal on the day I pulled it. And then I would, and then I would use it as a bookmark until I felt ready to pull the next card. Um, these, if you're working with anything around the concept of surrender, um, this, or if you have control issues like me, this is a fabulous little deck to get. Um, I'm... I don't know if I'm going to keep using it in the new year. Um, I might, I might kind of let it rest for a bit because of the fact that I've been using this as my connected to my word of the year. Um, I think I kind of might want to like let it rest a little. I'll see how it feels, but this, this deck top notch. <clears throat> uh, next up we have my, my boo tarot, which I believe I used this even for my first live. Um, this stands out purely because of how bloody excited I was to get it. And how adorable it is. I love this deck so much. Admittedly, I'm still a bit like nervous about using it because I don't want to, I'm afraid I'll damage it and I won't be able to replace it. This was not a cheap deck and I waited for it for so long, but I, oh, I love this deck. Uh, this is, and this is the first deck I followed. Like once I learned about the art, I followed it through to completion and waited and waited and pre-ordered it. And this is like my favorite strength card. I hope that it is focused well. This, and again, the Eight of Wands is fabulous. There's so many cards in here for being so cute and so fluffy. Um, it's the best kind of fluffy. It's not just fluffy. It appears fluffy, but there's so much more than that. And this has really just kind of <sighs> cracked me open in a way to a part of my inner child that I didn't really know was there. 
Oh, I don't, it's adorable. It's adorable and it's mine and I love it and it's mine and the Boo Tarot is one of my favorite decks I got this year. Not all of them are like brand new decks, um, but this one, I, oh God, I love it so much. Next up is one of my classics, my Star Seeker Tarot. And as you can see, I have some cards on the top here because actually um, these are my year ahead spread cards. I didn't pull that many, did I? I guess it's just thick card stock, yeah. Um, this deck, I talk about this deck a lot and that's why it's a standout. Because this deck to me, oh goodness, this deck gets me in all the right places. It hits my intuition in all the right ways. It's super nice card stock, which breaks in really well, like it doesn't stick as much. Not that it was super sticky. And the thing that makes this a standout is it's steady and my use of it is steady. I have used this all year long, not just for myself, but for clients, and I, I'm not sick of it yet. This is the deck I use in conjunction with my Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck for my year ahead spread readings. And this is not only what I do for myself, it's also a service I offer. I'm a professional tarot reader and also astrologer. I specialize in combining the two. And it's the time of year that I like to pull your head spreads. So if you are or have been curious, I I do have openings and offerings of the year head spread. You can send me an email, check the description box. You can check out I made a post in my community tab um a week or so ago about it. Um but every month for myself and my clients I sit down, I look at my chart to see what's going on in the sky, astrology-wise, for the upcoming month and how that correlates with my chart. And based on what's in my chart and in the sky, I pull some cards with the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. And then I use my year ahead spread card is always the focus card. So this month, my card is Temperance. Uh, that was the card I pulled for this month in my year ahead spread last year. Um, oh wait. Yeah, right now it's Temperance. If you're seeing this at the beginning of December, it moves into the chariot. But I'm filming this on November 29th. So, so I pull... My, my focus card, the card from the 12, the, the 12 card year head spread goes at the top. And then based on the rest, I, I pull some more cards out from the heavenly bodies as significator kind of cards. And I look at the astrology and talk a bit about that. And then I pull tarot from this deck to find more details about what the theme message is about. So using tarot and astrology to explore what kind of energy, um, what kind of predictions, what kind of work I might be doing in the upcoming month. And I do this every single month. And I did it for myself. And I did it for clients. And I, I also, like, I use any time you purchase a reading with me that's astrology and tarot combined, it's this deck I use. I use this deck to explore the stars, which kind of makes sense. It is the, the Star Seeker Tarot. Um, and I adore it. I, I love this deck so much. I am so glad I got it. Um, this deck was a game changer for me last year. And it's been over a year now since I've had this deck. And... 
the love is still very strong and I use it a ton. And even with such high frequency use, it's still a like it's still a very strong deck in my collection. So this really stands out to me. Next up, my gentle tarot. I got this deck recently. I got the well, I bought this first, and then I sorry, let me rewind. I bought I, I backed the Kickstarter for the Gentle Tarot in a Tin and the Big Beautiful Guidebook. And then while I was waiting, I got impatient of waiting, so I bought the Linen Edition. And then I got my book and my guidebook. I, I looked at this deck. This... <sighs> This deck, okay, I looked at this deck back when, like, Don Michelle shared about it. I'll, I'll link her channel up above. And Lisa shared about it. I, I looked at it, and I was like, it's really pretty. It's really nice. I don't think it's me. And then I got one of my member readings from Lisa, because uh, I'm, I'm a badass unicorn on Lisa's channel. Um... And we get free member reading. Well, we get member reading and we get member readings every month. So I got one of my member readings and she was using the gentle tarot. And the reading was so good. Um, and there was some synchronicities that I was like, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to get it. And then the Kickstarter happened. So I did the Kickstarter. And this deck is so rich. It's so soft. It pushes me. And the guidebook, oh my God. I, I did do a video of first impressions. I'll link that up above. The guidebook of this is stunning and stellar. And it it talks right to me. This is... I got this deck when I got the guidebook. Um, let's see. Well, I got the guidebook and I, I haven't stopped using this deck since. I used it for daily pulls for a while. I'm not using it for daily pulls anymore. I I still, though, like, if I'm really feeling my card, my daily card, I pick up the Gentle Tarot guidebook and I read about my daily card from that guidebook to see, to see what its message might be. Um, this deck is just... It, it's such a beautiful work and it, it's just top notch. And I, I, I use it for my weekly spread. I, I use this in multiple ways and it, it's just, the art is stunning. The guidebook, I highly recommend the big guidebook. I have no idea what kind of guidebook comes with the, um, the like, first edition. I'm sure it's still amazing because Mari's work is amazing. That said, I highly recommend the extended big ass guidebook. The next standout deck in my collection this year, uh, my shimmering veil. Now, admittedly, the circumstances around how I got the circumstances around the day I got this deck are <sighs> extraordinary and it, it helped this whole standout factor because if you don't know the day I got this, I was flipping through it and I had just finished looking at the Hierophant, which, um, I just finished looking at the Hierophant card 
And, and this deck has two fools. When I got the message that my friend, um, my friend who's like a sister to me, her husband, who is like a brother to me, died very unexpectedly. Um, and that was extremely significant because A, I had just finished looking at the Hierophant and that was his favorite card. And B, this card, this deck has two fools in it. And the fool is another one of his favorite cards. And I had almost looked at it sooner. I, there, there was a bunch of things that happened that all led to me opening it at that exact moment. Um... And then you add to the fact that this deck is stunning. The artwork on it is absolutely phenomenal. This is an incredibly special deck to me now. This deck, and I've used it, and my God, the readings I've gotten with this. This is such a good deck. This is, this is every, this deck works for me the way I wanted, like, the soul cards to work for me. This deck and kind of the way I wanted the dream visions to work for me, this deck gets me in that intuitive space. This is a highly spiritual deck for me. Um, I just, I just love it so much. And I've taken this with me. I, uh, on a walk through a graveyard, and I stopped and pulled a couple cards. Um, just some wonderful messages I get with this deck. It, it's really quite fabulous. Hierophant. And almost every single time I pull from this, my friend who died reminds me that he's here to annoy me. <laughs> I, I say that with love. Him he was a he was a guy who liked to joke and tease and so this is my extremely special uh, shimmering veil tarot. And then last, definitely not least, um, this is partially on first impressions, but to me, I think the first impression is gonna stand. This Song of the Grandmother's Tarot, or not Tarot, this Song of the Grandmother's Oracle, which I just got, so far, is, is pretty standout. Um, whole boy. I did a video recently where I was playing with pairings for this. It's linked up above in the cards. This deck is fabulous. It's got the beautiful artwork by Mari. It hits the nature vibes, which to me turns out they're so important. The nature aesthetic. It's got such beautiful messages. The guidebook is great. It's color coded, which is really cool. Um, Cause I, I kickstarted this as well. I have used this in some way every day since I got it. I've pulled daily grandmothers. I'm doing a different practice now, which I will talk about at an upcoming time when when I'm when I've finished gathering my thoughts and I'm in the like initial phases of a new practice with it. So I'm kind of figuring out my stuff. But it's also got a little haiku. Each card has a little haiku, a little poem. And it works really well for the practice of like you pull a daily grandmother and then from the poem you pull other tarot cards to explore it. It works really well. Um, and and the cards too, like they eat the banners 
are for different categories. It's, it's an extremely well done deck. So I'm still, I'm still like, we're still getting to know each other. We're still learning, but the love is strong and it is there. And I think, I can't imagine, I can't imagine not working with this. And I'm trying now to work with it slowly and steadily. I'm, it's funny because the practice I'm building is a practice that works with one grandmother for a period of time, um, which is really nice, except for the fact that I'm still very much in like the honeymoon phase with this deck. And so I'm a little like, but I need a new grandmother, but I need a new grandmother. I want a new grandmother. I'm still in like the greedy grubby phase where I just want to pull cards from this all the time. I still can randomly. And I like to pair this with um, my Pacific Northwest Tarot. It's my favorite pairing. But like these are, this, those two decks are part of the larger tarot practice that I'm going to be doing a video on in the uh, new year. But that's, that's it. That is my last standout deck. And man, has it been a standout deck. And it's been a really good year. Um, at least tarot wise. Personally, <laughs> let's not go there. Um, but those are my standout decks for 2022. I am so incredibly thrilled to have all of those decks. I'm so thrilled to use them. In in my tarot life, I feel like I've turned a lot of corners this year. Um, I'm incredibly grateful for the year I've had and what I've learned and how I've grown with and through my tarot and through these decks largely. And so I wanted to share them with you. Don't forget, uh, Julie's... Julie's video is linked in the description box or up in the cards, both maybe. Um, check the cards first. Um, I forgot to mention it at the beginning, but I'll make sure when I edit it that it's up there. And that's it. And I'm going to let you go here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you can come on back nice and easily. In the comment section down below, what if, what about you? Are you going to do this tag? Do you have a standout deck that you want to share with us? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And then in the description box, you can find my links. For example, as I mentioned, I'm a professional tarot reader and astrologer, and I specialize in combining the two to create really unique reading experiences. You can check out my website linked below. I do also have channel membership. You can check that out linked as well. That new practice I'm doing with, with, the songs of the grandmothers it's co it's connected to my moon work and i'm going to be i'm planning to do a video on that uh in late december early january um but my my witchy wonder tier um they're going to be working on that with me like we're going to i'm going to be or sorry not my witchy wonder my my planner peeps my planner peeps and up that's going to be our live for December is me um, setting that up So, and talking about that. So um, if you want some more behind the scenes details before I figure out the video, you can check out my membership. There's a link to it. There should also be a join button beside the subscribe button. And there's also my email. So if you have any questions or anything like that, you can reach out and contact me. But that's it. I'm going to let you go here and I will see you again very soon. Lots of love. Bye.